we centered this whole show around him being in town, man, because that's how funny this fucking kid is. Make some noise for CJ Grizz. It's Christian Moody. Nice to be here again. I was here back in April. It was, you know, I did the show and it was pretty fun. You know, um, <laughs> I, I always get asked if like natives celebrate Thanksgiving. You know, but like, you know, like turkey just happens to be on special that time. <laughs> like, that's, that's how they're tricking us into celebrating it. Like, fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, Halloween just passed. Like, I was trying to get my friend to like. Uh, you guys, every guys, you guys seen the movie Prey? Yeah. Fucking awesome, right? Fuck. Movie Prey, man. Like, yo. Uh, and Halloween just passed. I was trying to get my trying to get my cousin to like buy me a buy me a predator costume. He came back with a priest costume. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, you you city folk, man. Like you, you guys you guys meet people on Tinder. You know, I come from a small town. I I met my lover on a bender. <laughs> yeah, I ha I have this friend. You know, like he's always like he brags about his penis size, but like he doesn't do it in a way like he's bragging. You know, he kind of he does it in a way like it's an inconvenience. <laughs> like, we're supposed to feel sorry that he has a huge dong? Like, you know, like, he's just like, you know, I have to get my shorts custom made and it costs more. I'm like, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. I, I find it really funny, you know, like, when, when, when vegans try to recreate meat, you know, like nothing can ever replace it, you know, the texture, the flavor, you know, they, they, they create these weird names for it, you know, like Tofurky or Faux, faux Fakin, I don't know what, they, like, what kind of crazy, you know, like, they, they, like these vegans have like such a toxic relationship with meat, you know, like they're, they're trying to like, they're trying to call meat, they're trying to call other things meat, you know, that's like, that's like if you called your new lover by your ex-lover's name. Just added faux in front of it. You know, just like, let it go, you know? They're trying to get, like, meat to identify as a turkey. <laughs> I mean, they're trying to get tofu to identify as a turkey. Damn. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty stoned right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty funny, like, when I, when I met Paul, like he told me, like like he was from a flying flying community, and, you know. I was just very stoned, and I was like, "Yo, you're from a flying community? That's so sacred, bro." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like COVID was like such a weird time for like you know places and businesses. You know, like me and my friend were driving around like Winnipeg, and uh, you know we saw <laughs> we saw this uh, like uh, he told me that like this uh, this church opened drive-through confessions during COVID. <laughs> Imagine that, you know, drive you like you're fucking like it's 3 a.m. Yo, he bring me to the fucking confessional booth right now. I just I just did something in the washroom. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> Yeah, yo, they should have like went a step further and like you know made like a confessional app. You know that's why you could just like post all your sins. You know basically Facebook. You know pretty much. <laughs> you 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 DM, you DM your priest the sin that you committed. Uh, he hearts your sin. <laughs> You know, it's, it's so funny sometimes like when I'm browsing online and like I see I see somebody use like icebergs as a metaphor for success. You guys see that one? Like when was the last time an iceberg was successful at something? But like, I'll tell you, 1912. Like, you know, like like that iceberg only had to do one thing, you know? And we talk about it to this day, you know, like 
the the literal impact it had on our culture. You know, you know he, he just had to do one thing and dip. You know, he's like Cisco or Gautier. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like the iceberg, you know, like it brought us like other things too, like, you know, like Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you know, like, and that's like Titanic, you know, like people still talk, like a hundred years later, you know, like, like, that's, I think that's why like Leo is like so adamant on like climate change. He's, he's just trying to give back to the iceberg, you know, that gave him his <laughs> My, my name, my name is like Christian. My name is, uh, my name is Christian, by the way. You guys heard Paul. Um, yeah, Christian. And uh, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. My last name, Monias, like I was like, trying to figure out what it means. And like, I was told like it was a word to describe white men. <laughs> and like, especially like my first name, Christian, you know, like technically that would make me Christian white man. Uh, if you look at me, I don't look like any of the <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I, sh I should, I should write my name on Tinder, Christian White Man. Like, imagine all the dates I pull with like all these conservative white women. <laughs> you know, they'd get disappointed twice. <laughs> anyway, yo, thanks for having me, yo. I fucking love you. Make some noise for Christian Gouillard!